Good morning, my fabulous artists. Today, we are going to study some of the beautiful works of Dale Chihuly. Dale Chihuly is a glass blower or a glass artist, and he's worked in several different medium. And I'm going to put a really cool uh, link on my online learning page to a video um, that talks about his life and um, how he has progressed through his um, artistic endeavors. We're going to use um, some recycled plastic. This is a number six plastic from a rotisserie chicken lid. I was doing some research and um, obviously you're not supposed to melt this all the time and inhale the fumes, but for our little purpose, we're not going to be heating up the house with 50,000 of these and sucking in the fumes. Um, so, little warning there. The other piece that we're gonna use is made by Chinette. And you can see the little Chinette label, I mean, little brand right there. And this is called Crystal Cut. Um, crystal Cut, I guess it's Crystal Cut Chinette. And it's got the little ridges. They, um, this is also number six, so. We're kind of in the same boat. Um, they also make a larger plate, uh, gorgeous when it melts. So think about that. I bought these at Walmart, a pack of 24, I think it was between four and $6. So not cheap, but the results, if you wanna make some really cool art, it is pretty cheap. So Dale Chihuly um, is a glass blower. He's still alive today. And he has a team that he works with because of a car accident he had um, and a surfing accident. So he does work with the team. He designs the artwork and his team helps um, pull off the, the incredible pieces. A lot of his um, sculptures are very organic. They're very, um, I don't say, let's see, what's a good word? They're very mystical. They look like they come from nature, like a bunch of weeds or trees or something that's growing out of the ground. All of this is glass, boys and girls. Some of them are several stories tall. I watched a video somewhere where it took, I forget how many boxes to ship this one huge installation to a site and each piece had to be packed in styrofoam and then individually assembled up this huge structure. So they are very, they're very um, complicated to say the least. Ours, or, and they're fragile. Ours are not gonna be that fragile and a little bit less complicated here. I used um, my Sharpie brush markers. You can use any colored permanent marker for this. I ordered these to take to school right before we got out for our um, virus vacation. And I ordered them from Amazon to color on the plastic because this brush covers a great deal of surface area pretty quickly. And I wanted you guys to test them out. So I took my Sharpie and like I said, you can use regular Sharpies too. It'll just take a little bit longer because they have a smaller point. And color however you'd like on your surface of your plate. Let's see, I'll add some blue in here. Whatever you wish. You could add a lot of color or as little as you'd like. I've had students just do little squiggly lines all over it and they turned out gorgeous because you can still see through it. It's transparent, right? So you can see through it. The light shines through, and you see that just nice, the glass, there's no color there. On this guy right here, I took my color and just did the same thing. Kind of made squiggles going up, up the sides, and I used different colors. Yellow, a lime green, a blue, and then I took the natural edge of it, and I thought, well, let's add a little Let's accentuate that. So I did, I just kind of took it and hit it, okay? Now, the fun part is when you put it in the oven, okay? I used a piece of foil on top of my cookie sheet. And we're gonna be going into the oven next. Um, 350, and you just watch it. 
The beauty of this is you can take it out when it's, or mom and dad can take it out when it's still pliable. And most of the time you can kind of grab it with your fingertips. It's not that, that hot, but you can, um, you can take a hot pad and just kind of move it and pinch it how you want it to be formed. The other thing you can do, and we've done this in class before, is we took a ball of foil and put it on the cookie sheet, put the plate on top, either upside down or right side up, and to see how it would form over um, another structure. So that's kind of fun. And um, these would look gorgeous hanging up outside. You could probably, well, I know you can string like fishing line through them and maybe, you know, attach a little bit with a glue gun or E6000 glue so you don't see it and let the sun catch. So we're gonna head inside and we're gonna go melt. I'll be back. take it out at this space and I may do that and work with it a little bit with my hands and a hot pad. I don't know. Pretty cool. starting to move. Cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this one out. Now it's warm, but it's still pliable a little bit. is the Chinette crystal cut plate that I'm going to put in the oven now. Okay, I've opened the door back up of the oven, so hopefully we can see this one start to move, and I see it starting right now. It will fold over. Probably is not moving as fast because I have the oven door open. These are so pretty. This plastic melts nice and clear, or much more clear than the um, container. And like I said, you can pull these out and um, manipulate them a little bit while they're still warm using a hot pad if you want to. Oh, it's gorgeous. They'd be so pretty outside. All right, I think I'm gonna take this one out and play with it a little bit. Look at the light shining through that. Isn't that beautiful? Let's see if I can turn it a little bit. It really is gorgeous. You could string a bunch of these up um, using maybe fishing line, monofilament line, and a touch of um, E6000, which is just a, a multi-purpose glue, or maybe even a glue gun. I tried to drill into one. And I'm not an expert with the drill, and I even used a small bit, but it cracked, so they are. Beautiful. The one that was the rotisserie chicken container top, and you'll notice it's not as clear, as crystal clear, as the hence crystal clear Chinette plates. Oh. 